Hello, my name is Nikki Bray, and I am the Adaptive Learning Fellow for WCET. Today I have with me Dr. Robert Manzer, the Provost and Chief Academic Officer for American Intercontinental University. Hi, Dr. Manzer, and welcome, and thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's great to be with you. Excellent. Well, I'm just going to pose a few questions for you that I think our community uh, would like to know more about. And we're focusing primarily on the higher ed administrators. Thinking about um, stories and, and uh, experiences that you've had along these lines, what might be your favorite transformation story, uh, either working with students um, sure. or with faculty? Well, the one that, that, uh, that, uh, that comes to mind is um, we have a professor uh, who – She's a former New York policeman, um, policewoman. Um, her name is Grace Telesco. She's a dynamite faculty member, um, and but she's really gone through a major transformation. She was one of the faculty who, when we first outed down this road of, of looking at adaptive learning and putting it in the classroom, um, was 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 somewhat skeptical, um, and 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 also uh, was somewhat skeptical about. The role of the faculty in um, motivating students and, and working around the adaptive learning engine. Uh, but what was really interesting with her was that at at some point, maybe a couple of months in, she seemed to experience an epiphany of sort. Uh, and and what she talk, talks about, what she testifies to, is really all of a sudden seeing learning from that student's perspective. And, and it was really adaptive learning that was a catalyst to that kind of transformation because it wasn't going to happen uh, with the conventional classroom, even the conventional online classroom, where the faculty member is engaged in various things like discussion boards and, and live chats. It really took this more uh, radical departure where you're putting this, this engine in the middle of your class and it's personalizing education, students really respond to it, for faculty to begin to open up and say, wow, you know, really, what is my role? And, and maybe my role really should embrace, how do I help the student, uh, you know, throughout the learning process? And in particular, those students who seem to stumble and have motivational issues. Um, so that's been a wonderful transformation. And I think it really testifies to how putting adaptive learning within the learning model can, can over time seed faculties rethinking of what their role is and how they can facilitate better student results.